Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kelly K. That's me. Today I want to come to you saying that I do not believe evolution should be taught in our schools. And I'm going to tell you why. What did he just say? Or we should at least add the teaching of creation to our public schools as well. I believe that if one religion is going to be taught, why not two? First, let me explain that evolution is not a scientific fact. If it was a fact, then yes, I agree. We should teach it to children in our schools, but it's not. First, let's explain what you have to believe if you're going to say evolution is correct. The definition of evolution. The process by which different kinds of living organisms are thought to have developed and diversified from earlier forms during the history of the Earth. The gradual development of something, especially from a simple to more complex form. So let me get this right, Bob. You're saying that a living thing had to make positive changes, it had to add things to its DNA, and it had to go from a simple to a more complex version? That's right, Kelly Kay. Tell them what they've won. Oh man, that is awesome! Can you show me anywhere in time or history where this has actually happened? Uh... No. You can't? Why not? Because it's never happened. So you're really saying evolution is just a theory. Theory, by definition, an idea used to account for a situation or to justify a course of action. Oh, it's an idea, not a fact. Okay, I see. So what's really happening over time is natural selection. Things have become different because of mutations in DNA. Loss of information in DNA. That's why over time we see changes in people, animals, and plants. That is called natural selection. So essentially, evolutionists are wanting to see X-Men. They're getting pretty bummed out when all they get is the mask. The Rocky Dennis story, not the Jim Carrey movie. I've researched on my own and talked to many evolutionists and I've never found anywhere, anytime, anything adding positive information to its DNA to become a new creature. What about that bacteria that evolved to become immune to antibiotics? Oh, you mean the bacteria that mutated to the point of not being susceptible to that antibiotic anymore? It lost information in its DNA. Yeah, I checked into that too. So hopefully you can see now that evolution is not a scientific fact. It's just a theory. It's actually more of a religion. Which brings me to my point. If we can teach that religion in school, why can't we teach that we have an amazing God, the Father of Jesus Christ, who created everything around us, and he did it so beautifully that he actually even created natural selection so that things could adapt to wherever it lived. Why is that so much harder to believe than evolution? Why is it that evolution gets the corner of the market on what's taught to our kids? Just saying. So in conclusion, that's why I say evolution should no longer be taught in our schools or we need to add creation right along with it. Doesn't that make sense? I'm Kelly Kay. Thanks for taking time to watch this. I love you. Jesus loves you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.